How's everybody doing? Are we excited to see Mr. Tommy Emanuel play today? Can I hear you? I can't hear you. Are we excited? We love this guy. I want to welcome our viewers on guitartv.com, our partnership out there at Planet Earth. Everybody say hi to Planet Earth. Make some noise. Thank you. My name is Jude Gold. I'm the chair of the guitar program here at Musicians Institute in Hollywood, California. And we have a very, very special guitar player today. I thought I would start off real quickly with just some fun facts about Tommy. As you may know, Chet Atkins announced him as a certified guitar player. Very few people have that CGP award. He is a CGP, one of the coveted. It's like a knight of the round table. Tommy started playing guitar when he was four years old. Tommy went pro when he was six. <laughs> Tommy owns no automobile, but he likes to work on them, but complains that the new ones are too complicated and they're hard to get under the hood and blah. But that might be something he would be doing, he says. If he weren't a guitar player, he would work on cars. In high school, Tommy had a lawn mowing business he also played in a band on Friday and Saturday nights professionally. He also worked in a grocery store on Sundays. Are you sensing a workaholic sort of pattern to this guy? What else about Tommy? Eric Clapton called Tommy the greatest guitar player he'd ever seen. Tommy has a merch table too, by the way. And Tommy's merch table takes credit cards. Which reminds me, later when you all, if you want to meet Tommy, I'm going to ask you to start the line at the table and the line's going to go back around that way. And so you're going to, as you're waiting to meet Tommy, you're going to be looking at this wonderful table full of groovy Tommy merchandise that you may not be able to resist. And let's see. Tommy's maiden guitar has more than a sound hole in it. He's playing, literally playing holes in that guitar. I was up close looking at it. Today, there are holes on the top of it. Damn. <laughs> and you'll see why. And um, without further ado, you know, when it comes to fingerstyle guitar, there's Merle Travis, then there's the late great Chet Atkins, and now holding that torch, keeper of the flame, I believe, is Mr. Tommy Emmanuel. Make some noise! <laughs> Thank you so much. A great, great pleasure to be back. I want to thank Jude, uh, Jude for inviting me back. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for your love and enthusiasm. I appreciate that. As they say in Alabama, I'm going to pick for you. So today I'm, I'm hoping uh, to uh, impart a little knowledge and experience to you. I'm the one with gray hair in the room and uh, I didn't get it for no reason. But uh, I'm, I'm here to help you and uh, anything you need to know or see or hear, I will certainly do my best to uh, give you that today. We have a, 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 a reasonable amount of time to get through a reasonable amount of information. But most importantly, I, I, I want to play for you and, uh, and then uh, in, invite you to ask me any questions that you may have on your mind. A couple of things I wanted to say. First of all, I'm a self-taught player um, and I don't read music. I never had any lessons. Uh, I just begged, stole and borrowed and got, got committed very early. And, uh, and I work harder today than I did when I was half my age. And I enjoy it so much. I really do. If there's uh, all of you folk in, the, in this room tonight who have a dream of playing music around the world and taking your music to the world, I can highly recommend it. It's a wonderful life and uh, it it's, takes a lot of sacrifice, but this uh, it's really, really worth it, especially when, when people write to you and, and tell you what your music means to them and, and how it changed their lives and, and how... Uh, uh, it makes a difference in the world. We, we, we have that opportunity. And uh, I just want to encourage you in that. 
So I'm going to start off today with a, a song that I wrote uh, dedicated to Chet Atkins because uh, he, he was what I call a man with a green thumb. And in, in, uh, in the English language, someone who has a green thumb, it means every seed they plant just grows. And that's the way Chet was with, with people. Everybody who uh, was influenced by him or who came into contact with him or were lucky enough to know him, they, their lives were so enhanced by, by him. So this is a little song. Yeah. Has a groove that goes like this.
you. Thanks a lot. Well, Mr. McCartney was up the road today getting his uh, star in the, in the, uh, in the uh, sidewalk, so I thought I might play a couple of his songs for you.